Because of what I do as an instructor, an instructional designer, and a photographer, I have lots of files that I often need to move around or archive. It has been literally a lifetime for some of us since we ever had to worry about what would fit on a 1.5 megabyte floppy disk. I recall only a few years ago when a 256 kilobyte USB drive was $30. And yes, I did say kilobyte with a K. Now we can get a 32 gigabyte drive for the same price. As a matter of fact, I was shopping just yesterday for a one terabyte, and that was terabyte with a T, internal hard drive for a laptop, and it was only 80 bucks. I mean, wow, we've come such a long way as far as storage is concerned. One of our media formats that has evolved, but is still very common, especially for long-term storage, is the CD. Many of us have a CD or DVD burner, and some of us may even have a Blu-ray burner. If we do, Windows 8 simplifies life once again by allowing us to burn directly from File Explorer to our CD, DVD, or Blu-ray drive. Because I know not everyone has done this the old way, I like to just review the way it used to be. This way will kind of provide a frame of reference. One way was to actually use some type of third-party software. Usually, if our computer had a burnable drive, it came preloaded with at least a light version of one of these types of software. But Windows has been able to do this as well. It just doesn't do it with all the bells and whistles that third-party software might have. What we had to do was not really hard, but it was just a process. For example, if we wanted to burn some files to a CD or DVD, we'd have to navigate to the location. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Working Files folder. We'd go ahead and find the ultimate location. In this case, we'll do Picture Archive. We'd do a Control-A or somehow select all of the images or files that we wanted. And then we'd navigate to the CD, DVD, or Blu-ray drive. We'd paste them in and then go through the process of saying, now burn those, designate a couple of options, say OK, and wait for everything to happen. Now, what I want to tell you is that process actually hasn't changed a whole lot, but now we can do it more simply and more directly by using the ribbon in File Explorer. If you want to burn some type of file or folder to a drive, you simply need to select it first. Then we can use the wonderful Share tab on the ribbon and look for the Burn to Disk option. Now, if Burn to Disk is grayed out, it means you do not have a burnable disk in your computer. In this case, I happen to have a DVD drive but it's a read-only drive. I can't write to it. Therefore, the option is grayed out. If the option is available, that means you do have a burnable drive and everything is good. You simply select the files and or folders, click or tap burn to disk. You'll be prompted how you want to do that and what you want to name the disk. You'll say OK, and you'll simply wait for everything to burn to that disk. It's that easy. So I guess what we know is that this isn't really a new process. It's just a whole lot easier in Windows 8. Once we know how to use the ribbon and from the Share tab to choose the Burn to Disk option, we can make DVDs, CDs, and possibly even Blu-ray discs, if our hardware allows, with simply a couple of clicks.